As you can see, I live in a perfect place to produce solar energy. There's not a tree in sight. There's not anything out here to throw a shadow on any of my panels, except for Mother Nature herself. I live in Colorado and we get probably 250 days of sun every year, but I wanna show you how shadowing can be devastating to your solar power. I wanna show you guys today just how much effect small shadowing has on your solar panels. It's a little bit counterintuitive. You would think that if you just had a little bit of shadowing on the panel, that that's all it would block is that small percentage. But unfortunately, that is not the way it works. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use this array that I have on my storage shed. This array controls a small portable battery that I have in there. Um, I run a freezer off of it. I run my computer off of it. And right now it's running a 800 watt electric heater because I wanna drain the battery down a little bit so that we can get full charge from the sun and I can show you exactly how much effect um, real time small amounts of shadowing has. This should be a pretty good way to demo this too because I've got four solar panels on the side of this storage shed, All right? These two are wired in series. These two are wired in series. And then inside of the shed, I've got them paralleled together with some MC4 parallel connectors. So what I'm gonna do real time is I'm gonna shadow each of these panels and show you how that affects the amperage going into the storage shed. All right, so I'm gonna, as you can see right now, there's no shadowing. I'm getting 22.72 amps of charging power into the battery. All right, now I'm going to step in front of one of the panels. That little bit of shadowing went from 22 amps down to 13 or 14 amps. All right, now I'm going to walk in front of the other one. And as you can see, down to nine amps. Now I'm gonna shadow the combination. Ten amps. And now I'm gonna go over and shadow the last panel. Twelve amps. So just that little bit of shadowing takes my amperage down to half. So with that first demo, because I have these two in series and these two in series, my amperage was never cut below maybe 50%. We went from 20 some amps down to 10 amps. But now what I've done is I've gone in and I have unplugged these two solar panels. So all we have are these two hooked up in series. There's no parallel connection. So I wanna show you how devastating shadowing is on your power when you have just your panels in series and nothing in parallel to help supplement that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what happens when I block just these two panels that are hooked up in series. Okay, so I'm not blocking the panels at all and I'm getting 7.2 amps with these two solar panels. Now I'm gonna step up. I'm shadowing very little of the bottom of that panel. And I went from seven amps down to three. Now I'm shadowing maybe 25% of that panel. And as you can see, we're getting very little charge. In fact, zero charge. So what's the conclusion we can draw here? One, shadowing affects your solar panels drastically. It's not a percentage. If you're only shadowing 5% of your panel, you're not just losing 5% of power. It's taking power from the whole panel. And also by having strings in parallel along with your series strings, at least if part of your series is shadowed, the other paralleled solar panels are still providing power. If all you have is one string that's stuck in series, 
and you shadow a very small amount of that string, you're going to lose most of your solar input. So hope that helps. Try to keep shadowing off your panels and they, they should work a lot better for you. So if you like the video, smash that like button, subscribe, go on my journey with me to build my energy efficient off-grid home. Thanks a lot. You can tell me the deck is stacked You can whisper behind my back You can show me how the odds are up Against me all day long But I've been through the fire and come out alive And there's no more fear in my eyes